Hello, this is part two of my other Simpsons iceberg video. So if you haven't seen the first part, please watch that. As some things in this video I will be referencing from that one. Now, let's go to the fourth layer. Bootleg Bart jokes. In the early years of the Simpsons, there was a lot of bootleg merch. Mostly focusing on Bart. Matt Grinning actually encouraged it and really liked it. King Kodos are real. I couldn't find much on this. I assume it's a theory that King Kodos are actually canon. Let me explain. The Trials of Horror episodes, which King and Kodos appear in every single one, they are not canon, as they are anthology episodes. Now, some think that King and Kodos are real, and they're part of the Simpsons universe. And there is some evidence to prove this. In the Springfield files, Kane can be seen, and this is a canon episode. They also got their own canon-ish episode in season 26, The Man Who Came to Be Dinner, which is their only non Tress of Horror episode to focus on them. There are also some other non-anthology episodes that they appear in. I still just think they're part of non-canon. The Problem with the Pooh. The Problem with the Pooh is a documentary by Hari Kondabulu, which is basically about a Pooh and how he can be seen as a cultural stereotype to the Indian people, and how he is voiced by Hank Azaria, who is a white man and not Indian. Now. I haven't seen the documentary, so I don't think I should talk about it, because I haven't seen it in full. Bush speech. In a speech, former President George H.W. Bush said that he wants American families to be more like the Waltons and less like the Simpsons. The Waltons was a show in the 70s, in case you didn't know. It actually ran for nine seasons. Huh. Simpsons sing the blues. Simpsons Sing the Blues is a studio album released by The Simpsons on December 4th, 1990. This album is a little over 40 minutes long and peaked at number 3 on the Billboard 200 list. It was also certified platinum in a week, over release with 1 million sales, and within 3 months of its release, it was certified double platinum with over 2 million copies sold. The Real Life Simpsons House. Back in 1997, there was a competition where Pepsi and Fox teamed up, in which the winner could win a real life size version of the Simpsons House. Though the winner of the competition lived over 2,000 miles away from the house, which was located in Nevada, and she accepted the $75,000 instead of the house, she did choose the money in order to help her family, so the competition wasn't really a waste. Homer is gay. I don't really know about this one. I've heard a theory about Bart being gay, as he kind of displays that, especially in, like, Homer's phobia. But I've never heard about Homer being gay. Marge's rabbit ears. Along with the Krusty being Homer plan, there was also a plan to make Marge's hair hiding a pair of large rabbit ears. The rabbit ears never actually made it into the show or the shorts, but they were seen in the Simpsons arcade game. When March is electrocuted, you can see the outline of the ears, and when the vacuum pulls off her hair a bit, you can see the bottom of them. World of Simpsons figures. World of Springfield was a action figure toy line that was produced from December 1999 to December 2004. It released over 200 characters, which had their own phrases and 40 playsets. When compatible characters were attached to their playsets, they would talk. Groening and Epstein. Basically, Matt Groening's name is mentioned on a document from the Epstein case. Alt.tv.simpsons. I have no idea what this is. The Homer Shake. The Homer Shake is a Couch Guy from Season 24's episode, Gorgeous Grandpa and is the Simpsons family 
doing their take on the Harlem Shake. Live action Krusty show. There was a planned spinoff for Krusty the Clown. It was actually going to be live action. And Dan Castellaneta would reprise his role as Krusty the Clown. The pilot was actually written, but plans for the show fell through and was eventually shelved. Next, Layer. The Critic. The Critic is a show made by Simpsons writers slash showrunner partners, Al Jean and Mike Reese. It ran on NBC for the first season, made up of 13 episodes, and the second season ran on Fox for 10 episodes. The Critic focuses on a 36-year-old film critic from New York named Jay Sherman, played by John Lovitz. The show actually had a crossover with The Simpsons titled A Star is Burns, in which Jay Sherman goes to Springfield for a film festival, and he stays with the Simpsons family during his visit. This episode did get some backlash from Simpsons creator Matt Groening, as he didn't like the episode and thought the crossover was forced, as both The Simpsons and The Critic are both shows produced by James L. Brooks. I have personally never watched the show, but I would like to eventually. No Homer's Club.net. In the Simpsons episode Homer the Great, or the Stonecutter episode, there is a joke where there's a whole club just made for the sole reason not to include Homer Simpson, and it was called the No Homer's Club. No Homer's Club.net, now No Homer's.net, is a forum website for general Simpsons discussions. Bart Simpson Scientology Robocall. Apparently, in early 2009, Nancy Cartwright, who voices Bart Simpson, robo-called people to promote some Scientology event using Bart's voice to do it. Live-action Troy McClure movie. Just like the Krusty show, Troy McClure also had a planned spinoff that was going to be live-action, but in this case, it was a movie. Phil Hartman, who played Troy McClure, wanted to make this movie, and he was supported by many of the Simpsons staff. Sadly, he was tragically killed, and his characters were retired out of respect for Hardin. Oakley Doakley Oakley Doakley is an American metal band in which all of the members dress up as Ned Flanders. And their songs are all Simpsons related, like White Wine Spritzer. And they've released two albums at the time of writing, Howdy Doodly and How Howdily Toodly. Bart Kara Barkara is a fan project featuring the Simpsons characters in the Akira universe. For those of you who don't know, Akira is an anime slash manga. Rusty Nails. Rusty Nails is a clown from Matt Groening's childhood that he remembers, and Krusty is loosely based off Rusty Nails. But with a K. Hank Scorpio Shoe Controversy. In the episode, you only move twice when Hank Scorpio shows up to the Simpsons' new home. He throws his new shoes away, then asks Homer, Ever see a guy th- say goodbye to a shoe? And Homer replies, yes, once. And many people argue whether this means Homer saw somebody throw away their shoes in a different incident, or if he's talking about the one right now. I didn't even know this was a debate. I always thought of it as you saw a guy in the past throw away his shoes and say goodbye to him. Although, it's quite odd it would happen twice. Simpsons meet Oprah. In 1992, Oprah went to Springfield and sat down with the Simpsons, in an animated clip shown on her show. Since then, the clip has never been re-aired and has also never been released on home video. Prince episode. As you probably know, Michael Jackson guest starred in the season 3 premiere, Stark Raving Dad, as character Leon Kampowski. What you probably didn't know is that Leon was supposed to appear again in a sequel episode, but this time he would think he is Prince. Although Prince declined the offer to make a cameo appearance, the idea was later scrapped. Crazy Taxi Lawsuit In 2003, Sega filed a lawsuit against Fox Interactive. Electronic Arts, and Radical Entertainment, due to the game Simpsons Road Rage, as Sega claimed it was patent infringement of their game Crazy Taxi, but the suit was settled in private. We Say It's Your Birthday, unreleased Dangerous Track by MJ. 
Apparently, Lisa, it's your birthday, was going to be on Michael Jackson's album, Dangerous. Next layer. Zongo Comics. Zongo Comics is a more adult-oriented version of Bongo Comics, though it didn't get the same traction as its more child-friendly counterpart. Thus, only 10 comics were produced and are very sought after today, due to their rarity. Symptasia. Symptasia was another proposed spin-off idea. Basically, it would take the Disney movie Fantasia and put the Simpsons characters in it. It was shelved, but now that Disney owns the Simpsons, maybe it could happen. Homer had sex with Mindy. In the last temptation of Homer, Homer falls for a co-worker. But in the end, he says no to her and takes Marge out instead. The theory is that Homer just visualized Marge. And really, he had a time with Mindy. As in the same episode, Marge was super sick, and it is believed that there's no way she could have gotten better that quick. NRA Forever In the 138th episode Spectacular, it is said that the cash register, after Maggie is scanned in every opener, reads NRA Forever. But it dozen at the time of this episode, so season seven, the register would say eight hundred and forty seven dollars and thirty six cents after Maggie is scanned. This is because in nineteen eighty nine that is what the cost would be to raise a child monthly. King and Kodos are lesbians. Apparently some people think that King and Kodos are lesbians, which could mean that they're both female. I mean, it has been said on many different occasions that Kang is male and is Kodos' brother. And yes, the Kang is male part might be retconned due to the Futurama crossover, but they are still siblings, so no, not lesbians. Nazis on Tap. Nazis on Tap was a short that was going to be premiered before Bart the Daredevil, but was abandoned in the storyboard phase. The basic plot is Homer is in a bar, and Hitler sits next to him. Then Bart walks in, starts chasing Hitler, then FDR gives Homer and Bart a medal for tracking down Hitler. It also takes place in the 40s, so that's cool. The Dreaded Rear Admiral In Trials of 404, the segment Terror at 5.5 Feet, Bart tells Milhouse to lean over while riding the bus. Milhouse says no, because that would leave him open for wedgies, wet willies, and the dreaded rear admiral. Now, what is the dreaded rear admiral? Homer's Barbershop Quartet Dog Air In Homer's Barbershop Quartet, during a flashback eight years prior, we see Santa's little helper, who the Simpsons did not have at that time. Season 6 DVD Case Controversy for some reason, when making the DVD for Season 6, they decided to make the case a plastic Homer head. Which, I mean, it looks cool, but it just isn't practical. Although, now there is a normal box case for this season. So, as long as there's a box, I think it's a cool idea to have the head. But, I can't imagine how mad people would have been when they go out to buy the new season. And you can't really put it on a shelf and have it look good with the others. Rock Bottom Corrections In Homer Badman, after Homer is proven innocent, the program Rock Bottom apologizes and lists many corrections. Some highlights are, the UFO was a paper plate, the word cheese is not funny in and of itself. Bullets do not bounce off fat boys. The Beatles haven't reunited to enter kickboxing competitions. And if you're reading this, you have no life. Oh. Simpsons Sunday comic strips. There used to be Simpsons Sunday comic strips in the newspaper. I couldn't really find much about them. I guess that's why it's so low. And that was the part two to Simpsons Iceberg Explained. I'll be doing the next four layers, the last four layers, in part three. Sorry for this video being so late. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. See ya.